This is a product review Monday. Starting the week off right with a good old fashioned product review. And as much as I love that water bottle down there with that awesome tip, it's not about that. It's about these shoes. So let's go ahead and take them off for you. Oh, So these shoes are awesome, let me just say. I love these shoes. I spent over 12 hours in them one day. And um, I've hiked in them, I've biked in them, I've lived in them, they're awesome. So here they are, the Shimano, whatever they are, the Shimano something. Ah, Shimano Dynalast. Boy, do they last a long time. I got a link below for you. I've used them quite a bit, so they, before they had some uh, pieces up here. They've been worn away. You can see the little bit of red there. It's gone now. Uh, but they got the carbon sole. So essentially, as you push down into the clip, they're SPDs, as you push down into the clip, uh, the whole footprint there, the whole platform helps you press down. So when you push in, you're essentially pushing down with your whole foot. So everything's connected by that carbon sole. So it's not it's not flexible you know it's real it's real it's right there this side material is like an ultra leather i don't know exactly what it is but it's finely woven and then you got the interesting top part okay so the reason i had some other shoes you may be seeing the viewer review on that and those were decent but they didn't have this buckle i really wanted to make sure i got a buckle because when you're pulling up like i am now you're gonna pull on that top strap the most, this one. And so I wanted a secure buckle. So I think it's worth the money to go with one of those. And then it has the Velcro for the other two. And they do a crisscross. So this one switches that way and that one that way. Now I gotta complain a little bit. The worst part is sometimes my toe gets a little squished in there. And I only have five toes. But over a few hours, that toe sometimes doesn't feel good. So all I do is I lift up this strap and I re-strap it with a little bit less pressure. And that usually does the trick. Overall, these are like a, woo, that's a four five. These are like a size 44. Um, they're not cheap, okay? You're gonna pay like 150 or more for these or the latest version of them. But honestly, they're worth the, every penny. I can't recommend them enough. If you're uh, serious into long distance biking or touring and you want a clip in setup, these are great. They're meant for mountain, but I always do that because I go mountain and then I can always go back to road with them. They do make a click clack, but in general, this protects the SPD pedal a bit. So it's pretty good. Um, yeah, overall they've held up. I put these things through mud, through a bunch of a bunch of different experiences through the water of course and they just work and they actually smell pretty nice so that's probably just my clean socks but still Woo! that's not that bad considering how many hours and water and everything i put in there so i love them recommend them again this belt is key and uh, they've been worn away quite a bit and they're still lasting so i really like that again you get what you pay for with gear and that's the same. Take it out with the oxygen tank. Oh.